thing that matters. Um, so I, I can tell you my theory about why, why software is hard. It's very simple. It's that right now, if you, if you uh, change a bit in software, uh, it doesn't, it correlates in a, in a formally random way to the resulting change in behavior in the program when it runs. So if you change a bit, the program might crash, it might be exactly the same. And, and so there's absolutely zero signal in the feedback loop of how a change to software affects the behavior of software. And so therefore, there can be no adaptation and uh, you're always back to square one. And so any, any kind of software that can improve will have to have some sort of statistical basis where there's some signal to noise ratio in the feedback loop between changing the software and, cha and, and observing its behavior. And then you can treat it like engineering or science and you can actually make progress. But the way we're doing it right now, you cannot and it's, it's just hopeless. And there, there are other ways to say the same idea. Uh, Gregory Chaitin has some very nice ways to say something similar, but it's, it's just hard.